Well, from sweet and salty uh, to everywhere in between, we have back to school and tailgating snacks you can really feel good about because they're healthy and they're also Hoosier made. Brittany Smith of Yelp returns for this month's Trendiana segment, Snacking Hoosier Style. Welcome as always, Brittany. Thank you, Jerry. Okay, let's talk about this. And it, I always mention this because I think it's important. These mm -hmm. are all entrepreneurial stories. These are these are businesses that are producing these things. Yes, yeah, and one of the beautiful things about Indiana right now is the artisan food world of snacks or mm -hmm. just small batch products is exploding. Yeah. So anything you can think of from ketchup to mustard to whatever it is, there's now a Hoosier version of yeah. it. Yeah, so plenty of options. Let's get right to it. We'll start here in Indianapolis with a company that has grown, I know, over the years, have watched them grow, and that's Broad Ripple uh, Potato Chips. Yes, right in the heart of Broad Ripple, as the name says, they're making small batch potato chips using canola oil, real potato potatoes, their own special mix of spices, but not over salted. That's one of the things people really love about mm -hmm. them. And you can get it in a smaller, really small bag, maybe to pair with your lunch, or you can get a little something bigger, even though you'll end up eating the whole bag anyways. Yeah. But you can find them at Fresh Time, Kroger, and then they actually have the family's dog, Zeus, as their logo. So it's really got that family vibe to this business. Very good. Another family vibe as, uh, vibe as we go to Be Happy Peanut Butter here in Indianapolis that really started as a family entrepreneurial project. Yes, right? with their kids. And then they have kept their kids in the process all along teaching them about the finances of a business, making the peanut butter, branding. So these are not your average kind of peanut butters. They're using white chocolate chips, pretzels, cranberries, toffee in each of the peanut butter batches. And it's one of those ones that you're going to want to eat with a spoon. It's a true <laughs> snack on its own. Or you can spread it on bread, yeah. of course. Speaking of not your typical, not your typical pickle yes. is uh, Indiana Pickle Company. Again, that's here in Indianapolis. As yes, well. Indiana Pickle Company. So one of the things that makes them stand out is they're using local beers from business businesses like Sun King and Upland, and then local spirits from places like Hotel Tango in their brine. So you're going to find you know, a pickle that's made with an Upland beer. And then also they're using things like carrots and uh, pears and pickling those as well. So if you love anything pickled, they've got a really fun match for you. Uh, you also stop by batch number two. And again, I think this is another example. It surprised me that a company like this uh, with the mustards and other things that are mm -hmm. really, really making things happen. Yeah, batch number two. You're going to see them on a lot of the charcuterie and cheese boards around town with their whole grain mustards using all natural ingredients. And, and if you, you love a good kick to your mustard, they have some really fun versions. I'm waiting on them to come out with a horseradish. They, they really are great at making these things. Uh, okay, let's go up to Zionsville here in central Indiana. Tulip tree, it's creamery. Right? Yes, yes, in Zionsville. So Fawn Smits is the head cheese master there, started the business. He actually came over from Holland, bringing those true traditions of cheese making. So you're, one of the fun things that stands out in the Yelp reviews about this business is all the cheese classes they're offering. So you can go there, learn the practice of it, learn how they're making it, which obviously always makes you appreciate the art even more. Everyone loves a good pretzel, especially in the fall. Yes. We'll go to southern Indiana and tell city and tell city pretzels. Yeah, this one has a really fun history to it. So 100 years ago, a man came over from Switzerland, a baker, and he brought this recipe. And ever since then, this business has been bustling, making wonderful pretzels. And one of the things we'd like to share is that it goes beautifully with the batch number two, mustard. So okay. a beautiful marriage of two different Hoosier products. Perfect. Uh, let's go to Noblesville and Crazy Charlie Salsa. Yeah, so Crazy Charlie Salsa is known for selling a lot on the e-commerce side, selling yeah. online, a lot of recipes on their website so you can get their salsa con queso or versions with black beans and some fire roasted corn great to throw in with chili okay and we wrap up in Fort Wayne with best boy and company yes right? yes yeah, so sweet to savory they're offering the fudges the caramel sauces and some fun mixes for you to make things at home and you can find them throughout the state awesome that is a, a lot of information <laughs> Hungry, all over, right? over the state Brittany Smith as always thanks for joining us we'll talk thank to you, you soon. thank you Gary all right